Brum, 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 brum. Last five saved lives, people. All right, welcome back to Wellington on a good day. This is New Zero Land. I'm on a Zero electric motorcycle. Uh, if you've never been to this channel before, welcome to the future. I'm actually headed to the Twisties. They're just having fun after work. So I just wanted to update everybody on what's going on. Um, I don't have my drone because uh, I accidentally flew it into the water. I was trying to do like a range test. I was flying out to this island and uh, I just kind of misjudged the battery that I had left to get back. And um, it just kind of went for a swim. And I realized the drone is actually my third electric vehicle. And much like the Zero, it doesn't like getting wet. So yeah, I need to find out what's going on with the drone and try and fix it and get it to work again because I've only flown it like four times. Beep beep. <laughs> Everybody has to beep on the tunnel. It's like a, a Wellington tradition. But actually they're banning it, um, which I'm kind of, I'm happy about because if you're walking through the tunnel, it's super annoying and super loud. Um, and the tradition is kind of dumb. Apparently someone died in the tunnel or actually was buried in the tunnel, was murdered. What makes you think it was murder? And then buried in the tunnel as they were building it. So you honk your horn to, uh, I don't know, say hi. <laughs> Fight against evil spirits, I don't know. So yeah, I'm headed to the Twisties to uh, get, some, get some leaning practice going on because uh, I need it. I just love the Twisties. I love the winding mountain roads, uh, as you can see from my tattoo. But actually, I've been inspired by my wife who's been riding the bike every day to work. Uh, and she's been carpooling with her coworker. Like, her coworker's been sitting on the back. I actually want to get them to make a video together just to talk about how it is riding with a passenger on an electric bike. Because a lot of people have been asking about that. Uh, you know, how different it is. Obviously, there's no gears, so it's so much smoother and quieter. So you can kind of like have a conversation. But anyway, long story short, she leans the bike over so far that she actually scraped the DigiNow charger pan and she's done it twice now. And she didn't even apologize. She was like proud about scraping it. <laughs> like, haha, look what I did. Look how far I leaned. I guess I should praise this kind of activity, but the pan was so fancy and nice. Um, but whatever, I have a spare, so I'll just, uh, I'll try and ground down the rest of this pan uh, if I can learn to lean as far as she can. But anyway, those are my updates. Uh, what I want to talk about in this video, in this vlog, if you will, moto vlog, is the future. The future of uh, cars, bikes, everything, right? So it seems like as things progress, uh, emission standards are getting a lot harder. You know, you already see, um, you already see like the Hayabusa has been discontinued because they just can't meet emission standards. And then Ducati, right? Ducati is selling bikes that are purposely tuned to run like crap just to meet Euro 5 emission standards. When you buy the bike, you need to say, hey, can you just, you know, throw on these Terminiones and like reflash the ECU or whatever, install a new one. But then that's not really street legal, is it? And then what if eventually there are emissions tests for motorcycles? Like so far in the US at least, there aren't. Uh, in New Zealand, there, there aren't emission standards for anything. So, which is like, it's, it's ridiculous. The air quality over here really suffers uh, around town and in high traffic areas. It's kind of hard to breathe, which is not what you'd expect from the image of New Zealand, you know? It's like this super green place, like nature and all this, you know. You would, you would expect the air quality to be a lot better than it is. So moving forward, it seems like the solution to all this is just to go electric. Like even Ducati has a, an electric test bike, but apparently they're going to race it at Pikes Peak this year. So Harley's going electric, Ducati's going electric, um, Honda already has electric race bikes, they just need to start selling them, you know, production bikes. Um, there's Zero, Energica, Lightning, and then obviously all the car manufacturers are getting into it. So uh, I feel like that's going to solve that problem. But then a bigger issue that's been coming up is uh, autonomous cars, right? Self-driving cars. Being on motorcycles, you see so many people that are just like, you know, weaving in their own lane and just not driving very well, not paying attention. Uh, but then you hear about like 
uh, all the, the Tesla saves, right? The, the autopilot that sees things that the driver doesn't see and it saves their life. Like, it either breaks for them or swerves out of the way and it saves them. There was a cool anime called X Driver where it was like in the distant future or whatever, uh, all cars were self-driving, basically, like nobody really drove their own cars. You had to have special licenses to drive. Welcome to the auto transport system. Please select your vehicle. Sedan selected. So you punch in where you want to go in the car, like on the, the GPS or whatever, and it would just take you there. Um, but then the cars would like malfunction, and so there was a special team of people who like, could still drive, and they all drove like, you know, Lotuses, and uh, there was a Subaru in there. Whoa, those were the X drivers! And they'd go and like shut down these autonomous cars that were malfunctioning. But then also, there was an X-Rider. A motorcycle? An X-Rider? You mean those old antiques are still running? So this is the kind of a future that I am totally for. Like, this is really exciting. Like, safety-wise and ease of everything, you know, there's this idea of people not even owning their own vehicles in the future. Um, and you could just call up an Uber, basically, and they would just come pick you up. But it would be like a driverless Uber. Um, driverless taxi. It seems like that's going to become kind of uh, enforced, kind of mandatory, right? Like they'll start putting in these like laws to uh, make driving manually a lot more difficult. And electric motorcycles will kind of be our last chance at freedom, uh, our last chance to actually like manually control a vehicle. That's why I wanted to get into this early. I wanted to like be an early adopter and uh, support these companies that have forward thinking. They're making it so that motorcycles will still be around. This is a way to keep riding motorcycles far into the future. Alright, so thanks for watching. I'm gonna enjoy this crazy fun road. Um, if you guys want more of these, just this random like motor vlogs talking about topics about electric motorcycles and the future and stuff, let me know. And uh, I will see you guys next time.